The beauty of motorcycle racing, it's like many sports or endeavors, like surfing or skiing. The more you do it, the more you learn, the better you get. All of a sudden, one day you look back and you go, you know, I was doing it because it was fun, not because, you know, I wanted to learn how to work on motorcycles or, you know, go around a corner fast or whatever. You know, you just do it because it's fun. I started racing in 71. The biggest form of racing, it was like the NASCAR of motorcycles, was flat track. So I raced in the pro class, made money, but I wasn't like a full-time professional racer. I wasn't gonna get a salary and I wasn't gonna get a factory bike or anything like that, not even close. But it was satisfying to beat other guys that were fast. You know, that's, that's the fun of it. What's, what's different now, I took a few years off and I went back and there's a lot of really young guys out there, like 16, 17 that are hauling butt. These bikes are fantastic, the riders are good, the guys can handle them, and the racing has gotten extremely close. I mean, crazy close. It, I mean, if I'm not on the track riding, which is exciting enough, I mean, just watching is exciting. One thing that's kind of remained constant is, it's one of those sports slash hobbies slash professions where not everybody can do it. Not everybody has the temperament or the drive or can fall down and go, yeah, I'm sore, you know, I might not make it to work tomorrow, but I can't wait till next Sunday because I want to do this again. When I first started riding, that was back when motocross bikes were pretty crude and bikes were not all electronic. They didn't have good suspension. They didn't handle that good stock. You had to make them work better. You had to maintain them. If you were a motorcycle rider, you were a mechanic. End of story. You know, I had to, you know, take top ends off, change tires, fork seals. You know, motocross guys don't take their bike to the shop. I mean, that's how it was. Anything I've learned over the years, I, I just soon show somebody how to do it. If you want to learn how to work on your own bike, the thing to do is just dig in and do it. There isn't a computer course you can take that makes you a mechanic. It's getting your hands dirty and gradually learn what you can do and what you need to leave to the experts. I prefer a bike where you can make improvements. You can make it handle better, you can make it stop better, you can make it go faster, you can make it more comfortable, you can make it look better, you can make it your own. You want good acceleration, you want good brakes, you want good handling, you want all these things to make the bike safer, you want things done right. When you go out you know, with your buddies on a ride or a trip, you want to know that the bike will finish the trip intact, it will stop when you want it to stop, and the bike is structurally secure. I mean, there's no limit to what you can do, you can keep improving on a bike forever. That's, that's the beauty of owning motorcycles is there's no end to how much you can do to them and, and personalize them and make them better to do what you want them to do. Riding a motorcycle is about emotion. I'd say 99% of anything involved with motorcycles is emotional. I love motorcycles and I love working on stuff and I love figuring out solutions to problems. That's what, that's what kind of drives me. I'll build a bike and it gets in a magazine or it gets on the cover of Cycle World and you get this uh, notoriety or this fame thing that comes with that. And then people that have never even seen something I put together or a bike I built for myself say, ooh, this guy, you know, he's the best in the world. I don't consider myself the best at anything, really. Uh, <laughs> I, have to, I have to laugh. I'm just a guy in my garage doing what I like to do. That's what it's all about. My name is Richard Pollock. I like to build motorcycles and we're here in my garage in San Diego, California.